Well, I am Gertrude Courtenay, Lady Marquess of Exeter, and we're sitting in the Great Hall at Hampton Court Palace. This is His Grace's Great Hall, the centrepiece of the court. Uh, now, I am a courtier here. I have served at the court for a number of years, as my husband has also. And uh, we're expecting the christening of the new prince, Prince Edward, born just a couple of days ago here at Hampton Court. And, uh, well, much to the happiness of all of England, for we've been expecting this for many, many years. Prince Edward will be christened here at the Chapel Royal and this will be the start of celebrations over the next few days. So there will be a great procession going through the Great Hall here, through the whole of Hampton Court Palace to the Chapel Royal and then after the christening, and I have to say I am honoured to have the opportunity to carry the Prince at the celebrations to the Chapel Royal. After the christening there will be feasting here in the Great Hall and more privately for the King, I'm sure. There will be music, dancing, masks, maybe jousting. This has been prepared for months, I'm sure, because ever since it was decided that the Queen would lay in here at Hampton Court Palace, everybody knew that the celebrations would happen here. All of the court will turn out and ambassadors as well will be visiting the court to take part and to see the security of England. The point of a feast like this is to show that the King has plenty. The point is there's always supposed to be food left on the table at the end, which is distributed to the poor. So there's many courses. Meat, obviously, plenty of meat, baked, boiled. Fruits, sugared fruits, puddings. But at the centre is the subtlety, which is often a dish made of march pain maybe in the fashion of a castle or a dragon. I've seen George slaying the dragon. That was one of my favourites. And the point is about that is to be marvelled at. I believe when the French ambassadors visited the court, they marvelled for many, many hours at all the different subtleties that were coming up from the kitchens that were uh, beautifully sculpted and then very finely painted and sat in the middle of the table. They look spectacular. They're not to be eaten. The point is they're to be admired. Now, a lot of the fresh food, of course, is provided locally. That's why His Grace's Court will move fairly regularly, because if we stay in one place for too long, the local providers will, well, they will simply run out. And of course, the King is allowed to um, charge his own terms. But the more expensive foods, things like wine, sugared fruits that are imported, and as a result will have high import duty upon them, um, they will have been brought in from ports such as London, obviously, for months in advance and be stored here at Hampton Court. We have the cellars and storehouses for things like that. I would have thought there'll be extra storehouses prepared to allow for all the extra visitors that are coming. I can't imagine what it's like, but it will be vast.